Some of Auckland's best chefs put their rivalries aside last night to cook together. And while their meals are amongst the priciest in town, this meal didn't cost the 150 guests a cent. The event for Ronald McDonald House was part of a fundraiser called Supper Club, which next month will auction off tables at 30 of the city's best restaurants. Elizabeth Ranham reports. Grayson isn't quite six months old yet, but he's already spent more than half his life in hospitals. Since January, we've only managed 17 days straight at home. Other than that, it's been at Palmerston North Hospital and Starship. Grayson has biliary atresia, a condition where he was born without a gallbladder or bile ducts. He's suffering from his third infection since being operated on two months ago. And while he and his mum have had some tough times while staying at Ronald McDonald House, some of Auckland's top chefs gave them a night to remember. 13 chefs arrived in this kitchen at 3 o'clock this afternoon to find ingredients laid out. They were given three hours to design a menu and cook a meal for 150 people. Well, I think we all sort of got in and a um, bunch of ingredients just all over the bench and I think we all got a little bit shy for a minute there. It's like too many chefs. <laughs> Natalia Shamroth took control of setting the menu, which included minestrone soup, herb roasted chicken legs, Kumara mash and apple and apricot crumble with custard and ice cream. The chefs say it was an honour to cook for these families and no knives were drawn against their rivals in the restaurant scene. Has there been any rivalry going on today? Well, I did think that before I got here, but um, no, actually, it was really good. So everyone's worked together and everyone you know, gets to meet people. Kylie says she is delighted to have experienced some of Auckland's finest dining without even leaving the hospital. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The food looks absolutely beautiful and, I, yeah, it's awesome. Very nice treat because I tell you what, I miss home-cooked meals. <laughs> Elizabeth Piranum, 3 News.